You should smash your opponent! Let's talk about it. Minimats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, then enter in the code Yu-Gi-Jesus on Minimats.com and you get 10% off. Likewise, you can enter in that same code Yu-Gi-Jesus on LDBDuel.com and get $5 off the best deck boxes, in my biased opinion. I mean, just look at this. It's amazing. So let's get straight to it. I've been uh, maining or siding Smashing Ground and Goats for years and years and years and years and years and uh, lately on goatformat.com you know looking at top deck lists and stuff um, I'm seeing more people playing this card uh, mystic swordsman as well which we'll get to in another video smashing ground is just a fantastic answer to anything like literally anything face up blade knife BLS chaos Sork, a face up spy in defense position um, Spirit Reaper, which we're actually going to be talking about, so let's just talk about it. Yeah, this uh, this card is easily outed by Smashing Ground, but um, is also enabled by Smashing Ground. Same thing with Zalug and Kaiku. So you can combo Smashing Ground with any of these cards, for example, and get their effects off easier. You can Smashing, um, let's just say Breaker, which... Also, Smashing Ground versus Breaker is hilarious, just like it is against a Blade Knight. Poke with Zalu, get a card out of their hand. Poke with Spirit Reaper, get a card out of their hand. Poke with Kaiku, get cards out of their graveyard. Um, Kaiku is uh, a, one of the better... Man, I have this in a dirty sleeve. I just noticed that. A Hobby League card does not need to be in... A, oh, gosh. Continuing with the video, that was really gross. I did not notice that before. That's funny. Um, but yeah, Kaiku is a fantastic card. In the meta, everyone's playing Chaos or everyone's playing, you know, Chaos Warrior. Um, and uh, you can get rid of all their lights and darks or just prevent them from summoning BLS or Chaos Orc in the first place if Kaiku's on the field. Kaiku is a fantastic card. Um, you can play um, Smashing Ground in uh, discard strategies, including um, you know Smoke Grenade of the Thief strategies um, with Don Zalug or without, um, to be able to discard your opponent's entire hand. If you really, yeah, th that's a deck. It, in Goats, it's a deck. It's, I mean, it's not the best deck ever. I mean, it's not like you see it topping all the time, but yeah, it, that, that's a deck. Dude, you can totally like rob people's hands and goats. I mean, you can get Don Zalug and Spirit Reaper with Mystic Tomato uh, very, very easily. Not to mention, you can get Don Zalug with Rhoda, and you can get uh, Spirit Reaper with Pyramid Turtle. So, um, yeah, Smashing Ground, um, I'm going to be showing you guys on screen right now um, at least one uh, top deck profile of mine that was citing Smashing Ground because I've cited it for years. Um, I've turned to maining it and I've mained it before. It just depends on, on how I feel. When I go into goat tournaments, um, what I play depends on what. I think other people are playing just by feeling. I, I can't really explain it. So my, I don't always main it, but I have been maining it lately. Um, but before and in past deck profiles, I, I mainly side it um, as a three of always to make sure I draw it because I when I side deck, I try to play three of of every side. People that play one ofs in their side deck and go ugh, goat profiles, they drive me nuts, dude. Like how do you ever draw your sides? It drives me crazy. <laughs> but ignoring all of these cards, a Smashing Ground is good in just about any deck. Like I wouldn't play it in Burn, for example, because you don't really need to like at all um but it's a fantastic card in just about any other goat deck um and it's better than sakuretsu armor and widespread ruin and mirror force um in a lot of ways um it doesn't defend you as well but it's also not vulnerable um this thing is only vulnerable to like duo for example um uh, there's no other way to really stop this. I mean, Solemn Judgment stops it, but they're paying half Eddie to stop it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Smashing Ground is way harder to stop versus um, Battle Traps because Battle Traps can get, um, you know, Dust Tornado, they can get MST, they can get Heavy Stormed, and uh, your opponent can also be playing Royal Decree and then they're completely useless. Smashing Ground does not give a fuck about Royal Decree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you guys are gonna be like, well, what about Book of Moon or Compulse? Those stop Smashing Ground. Well, well, yes, they do, but these cards are also extremely chainable and stop everything from Sakuretsu Armor, Mirror Force, Widespread Ruin, even Ring of Destruction. These cards are just chainable like that. All I'm saying is that Smashing Ground is just a little bit harder to stop versus Battle Traps. So yeah, Smashing Ground is just amazing. And uh, like I said, it's splashable in any deck and uh, you can at least side it. Um, and, and I think it's a great side deck card. Um, it's really good against uh, Reasoning Gate decks. Uh, say bye-bye to, uh, you know, Demock. Say bye-bye to, uh, I mean, let's just say they're playing Monarchs, uh, you know, or Reasoning Gate, which they'll often play like Monarch cards and stuff. Um, yeah, say bye-bye to all of that. And speaking of burn decks, I did mention burn decks a minute ago. Um, this definitely outs uh, face up Big Shield Gardener that they're going to be sitting on. Just 
just get rid of it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Smashing Ground is just a great card. The only uh, flaw in the card, really, um, is that it destroys one face-up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. If it's tight, you get to choose, it says, but unless you're bad and let your opponent get a bunch of monsters, that's never a problem. Uh, plus, bare minimum, you're gonna get Spy with it or something, um, and Great Keeper Spy, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a big booty bitch, and uh, you don't want her uh, on the board at, at all. And Smashing Ground also has a twin called Hammer Shot. It's not as good against the monster with the highest attack, uh, but it still does the trick against, you know, BLS, Chaos Orc, you know, all the usual suspects that I already mentioned in this video. Um, but you can play Smashing Ground and Hammer Shot if you really want to be super aggressive, or you can, you know, play the normal battle traps if you really want to. Sakuretsu Armor, Widespread Ruin, Mirror Force. But once again, um, I mean, they accomplish, the, they accomplish the same thing, okay? Um, where you destroy a monster, but once again, um, the battle traps are way easier to stop. But that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Consider playing Smashing Ground in your deck because I highly recommend it. Actually, I recommend Smashing Ground more than uh, yeah other a lot of other cards that I'm going to be making uh, goat videos on, and I have made goat videos on in the past. Like Smashing Ground is a is a card that once again I've. Pretty much always played in beatdown strategies and, and even in uh, chaos strategies and stuff in, in the mirror match i'll side it like if i'm playing chaos um I, like depending on my mood i'll side you know this or mind control in chaos for the mirror match or both because you just you just wreck shit dude mind control like just tear shit up in the, in the chaos and like go control mirror match dude i freaking love mind control but uh yeah no i should make a video on that too gosh that card is insane i love mind control again thank you so much for watching dick slap that like button and subscribe and play Smashing Ground. Kick ass card, going right back in my deck. Subscribe! <laughs>